If you're a Second Life creator who uses the marketplace to sell your items, then we have great news for you. Thanks to the new viewer managed marketplace feature, organizing your marketplace inventory is now easier than ever. Save time selling directly from your inventory, whether it's listing new items or modifying existing entries right within the viewer. Merchant outbox transfers and magic boxes, the old ways, are no longer needed. This tutorial gets you started with the marketplace listings window and how to understand the three types of special folders inside listing, version, and stock folders. Go to Me menu, Marketplace Listings, to open the Marketplace Listings window. For quick access with a custom button, you can also go to Me menu, Toolbar Buttons, and drag Marketplace to an edge of the screen. Simply drag an inventory item to the Marketplace Listings window to move it. You'll see this alert the first time. If you prefer to copy it instead, right-click and choose Copy to Marketplace Listings. Either way, this creates a marketplace listing folder and there is a visible drop zone to remind you that you can add more items. We'll go over folder types more in another tutorial, but to summarize, a top level marketplace listing folder can be associated with a listing being sold on the marketplace. And each listing folder can contain multiple version folders so you can update a product without creating a new listing, which is a big time saver. They're shown with three horizontal lines. We'll cover updating listings and versions in another tutorial. Notice, when you drag a no-copy item into the Marketplace Listings window, it's placed into a stock folder with a grid of dots, one level deeper than a version folder. A stock folder is used for a limited stock of no-copy items, hence the name. Once a no-copy item is sold, it's gone from your inventory. Stock folders also show the number of items they contain next to their names. Even though there may be multiple items in a stock folder, with each sale, one item from each stock folder will be delivered with copyable items in the currently active version folder. For example, if your active version folder contains a copyable note card and a stock folder containing five no-copy objects, each customer will receive a copy of the note card and one randomly selected object from the stock folder until no items remain in the stock folder. This has creative uses, like reselling no-copy gacha prizes you bought from another creator, adult breedable pets, and more. The no-copy items within a stock folder must be the same item type, whether that's a skin or an object, but they can have different names. For example, some identical limited-run collectibles have serial numbers written into their item names, but they can still be sold from the same stock folder. In case you're wondering, yes, you can still sell a limited number of copyable items using the Available Quantity field on the Marketplace website, but the quantity of no copy items available from a stock folder can only be changed by the actual number of items in the folder. Remove one and the count goes down. What would you like to learn next about the viewer-managed marketplace?